Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. I'm getting a lot of things on this relationship. And I know y'all know I speak on it a whole lot. Because as I said before, it can be discussed many different ways. I was trying to get my mind together to figure out the best way to do this. So check it out. This is how I'm going to do this. You see this? That's a piece of paper. You see that piece of paper? Hold on. That's how I'm going to do this. I'm messing up now. Okay. Look at this piece of paper. You see how straight that piece of paper is? You see how, if we want to use a word, because nothing is perfect, but let's just say for the sake of using a word, perfect. You see how perfect that piece of paper is? Watch this. Now, when that paper was like this, straight, sort of the word, if you want to use a word, perfect, that's the beginning of your relationship. Look at this piece of paper. Now, this is a piece of paper. And I'm going to smooth this joker out best I can. I'm trying to smooth it out best I can. Now, now, even if I had an iron, I want y'all to see this. You see this? You see how that's all messed up and how it looks nowhere near like it was? Sort of like a dollar bill, too. Now, a crisp dollar bill is crisp, but then once it's been in your pocket for a long time and wrinkles up and balls up. Mm -hmm. This right here, this trust. This is trust in a relationship. Man, trust is just like this crumbling piece of paper. I can smooth this joker out. I can smooth this joker out all I want. I'm smoothing it out, and I wish I had an iron, because I'll show you even with an iron, I'm smoothing it out. I done smoothed it out, right? But it ain't gonna never be the same as its inception. This is the beginning of the relationship. This is the trust. See that? Can't even be smoothed out once it's broken. Man, I know people do work at fixing their relationships and things, but when that trust is broken, that trust is just like this crumbling piece of paper. It'll be smoothed out things ain't gonna never be the same. We can play games with our minds all we want and say yeah, yes, no. Because somewhere down the line, someone's receptors are gonna remember and even though they may say, I forgive you, I know, I don't think like somewhere, boom, it's gonna come right back like it happened fresh, like a fresh wound. This is the relationship. After the, after the trust was broken. And no matter how I try, it ain't never gonna be as smooth as it was at the very beginning. And you know it. You'll know it. And you and you and you know, and we know, we know when something is not for us. We know, we know. Because our souls tries to warn us on many levels. And we may have seen it many times in that relationship and things going on, but we said we can change it, we can fix it. Can't nobody change nobody. Can't nobody change nobody. Somebody could be the reason you change, but can't nobody change nobody. Someone can, yes, someone can be the reason you do change, but can't nobody change nobody. Don't walk around believing that. And our souls let us know, and it gives us it gives us the warning signs, and and we just reject them. You got to start paying attention to those. 
and you get these emotions in you and they come up and you know what's going on, but we keep ignoring it. That's when we're supposed to pull back. Those emotions, those signs we get, those are all messages. Our, in our being, our soul is letting us know it's not right for you. It's not right for you. And that's okay. You tried. You was there. Nothing's meant to last forever. And as a matter of fact, nothing is forever. Nothing is forever. But we got to pick up on those signs. And sometimes we have to put things that were once good and let them in after they have become toxic for our well-being. Now, you love that person, so what we say is, is that, oh, if it's love, you work on it, you fix on it, and we, okay, I'm not arguing that. But if that union has become toxic for your well-being, I dare say, you gotta let that go. Because not everybody is meant to be with you forever. Some people come into your life as just a lesson. Some people come into your life as a blessing. Okay, well, what's the lesson? The lesson can be not to fuck with that type of person no more. The blessing can be y'all have children. That children, that person uplifted you. You uplifted that person. Y'all did things together, and it was harmonious. That's the blessing. But it's not always a blessing. A lot of times, it's a lesson. We got to recognize the lesson. We got to recognize that sometimes we got to go back to like the beginning and walk alone. And yes, that is one of the hardest walks you got to take is walking alone. But guess what? I've learned in my times that walk makes you the strongest. Huh. That walk walking by yourself, that walk make you the strongest. Don't be scared. Don't fear it. Don't be scared. Don't fear it. I know you may have been in that situation for a long time. And sometimes you keep enduring and going through that because you don't want to start over. So fear sets up. Don't let, don't let, don't, don't fear nothing. Mm -mm. Fear is just, man, fear is just like fire, man. Fear is just like fire. If you learn to control it, it's a beautiful thing and it can work for you. If you don't learn to control it, it'll burn everything up and destroy it. That's fear. So you got to learn how to control your fear. Yeah. Yeah, this emotion thing. Keep in mind, y'all. Look at this piece of paper. That's the beginning of your relationship. Look at this piece of paper. It's after the trust gone. And like I said, if you didn't catch it at the beginning, no matter how I try to stress smooth things over, no matter how I try to smooth this paper over, it ain't gonna never be the same. Wow. That's powerful. That's powerful. We set up in our minds and we expect things to get better. But I like to believe if we expect nothing, only then can we be prepared for anything. That's my word on this. I am on the river. It's really, really, really chilly out there. So I'm enjoying it like this. Yeah, I think I want to end that like that. Expect nothing. And only then can we truly be prepared for anything. Man, blessings to you all, kings and queens. You can catch me at Fit and Snapback Thought 70 on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Or you can type in davidmarriedjr.com. Any more questions, complaints, suggestions, hit me in that inbox and I'm going to get it back to you. Trust me, I will. Maybe sooner, maybe later, but I'm going to get it back to you. Blessings. You know what? I want y'all to see I am out here too. Let me, let me, I want y'all to see that I'm out here. Cause y'all, 
I do all my I do all my stuff out here. So I just want y'all to check. I'm out here. I'm out here on this river. Just kind of chilly, but I'm out here. Just want y'all to see that. I put that man. Yeah. Blessings to y'all.